Hello guys. So fun fact, when I was in university, people used to actually say that I look like DeVito, right? Um, what they would say in particular was, I look like DeVito, but I don't have his money. And it's okay. I wasn't even upset. Even up to now, I still don't get upset because it's the truth. I don't have his money yet, right? But let's use this video as a way of, you know, me giving you guys a head start, so to speak, right? Next year is not fire again. We're already in what? November. December is in a few days' time. Before you know it, July 2022 is here. And it's time for my birthday. So, you know, just prepare. Prepare and get ready. You understand? Um, I might not use that particular type of account. It might be dollar. Yes. In fact, it should be dollar. It's not what it might be. So, prep your mind. All right? But with that said, right, let's get into today's video. Um, today's video is actually about influencers, right? Um, and it's seven questions about influencer marketing and how you can help your business. And you know, the first question is, is the video an influencer? Hey guys, so before we go into this video, I would like to just take some time to read out something that is very important right i always forget to, to mention this so i want to read it out and i might be reading it out in future videos because i actually always forget to say it. so please permit me right um yeah welcome back to my youtube channel and if it's your and if this is your first time welcome welcome i don't know why i said it twice um thank you for taking the time to watch this video thank you so much thank you so much um please don't forget to subscribe please Please don't forget to subscribe um subscribing gives me ginger to continue making these videos right when i see people are joining my family my youtube family and my community i get inspired to continue to make these videos and i don't go on long breaks um yeah so please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell it's near the subscription button it's it's there's a bell thing whenever you click that bell um once you click that bell rather it notifies you whenever i post a new video so the first question i asked is is david an influencer yes he is right and that's going to introduce us to our next question which is who is an influencer right um an influencer is anyone that can make you do something they can influence your actions right um so and it's not only social media a lot of people believe that they are only influenced by social media now Social media is probably the most popular one, right? You've been influenced in school. Um, you know how when you were in school, they always told you to shut the door behind you when you left the class. If you went to that kind of school, you understand what I'm saying? So yeah, all of a sudden, that you've been influenced to always shut the door behind you, always turn off the lights when you leave your room, don't leave the light on, the sockets, always turn it off. When you, have, when you are done charging your phone, unplug the socket. All those little, little things, people have influenced you. That's why you do them, right? And they are also influencers. So it's not just social media influencers. Um, most times, your, obviously, your parents are influencers. Your pastor, your pastor or your the one that's in a mosque, is that's that's very ignorant of me i'm so sorry i should know in fact i'm going to put what that is here i should know what that is i think it's an imam but i'm not sure that's why i don't say that but yeah apologies to that my my muslim brothers and sisters sorry about that but yeah um so these people religious leaders i should have said religious leaders religious leaders influence you right they're also influencers and you know a lot of us always think that it's only social media obviously because this is a marketing slash business related YouTube channel. We would focus on the ones that are relevant to your business, which 99% of the time are actually social media influencers, right? Which then brings me to the next question, question three. Um, what are the types of influencers? Now, when it comes to types of influencers, you want to look at relevance and number of followers or number of following, however you want to put it, right? and i like to use numbers to tier them so tier one tier two tier three tier four tier five right and um i'm going to use some examples now mind you these examples are not set in stone they can be changed so in case i might mistakenly mention some influencers names and they get offended please it's just what i think it's my opinion last i checked i'm allowed to have one so 
Uh, let's start with tier one. Now, tier one are the top, top, top celebrities, early celebrities, actors, musicians, people like Whiskey, people like Davido, obviously. Those are tier one influencers, right? These guys have millions of followers, millions, millions, millions of followers. They are very, very, they are very, they are very relevant in your in your um, country. I mean, I don't use the word industry because that is very, very left. But they are very relevant in your country. If the video comes out to say, um, you guys vote for Susan and so, I strongly believe that people would vote for Susan and so. Yes, I strongly believe that, right? So those are tier one influencers. Tier two influencers are also big, but they are not as relevant as tier one, obviously. Um, so your tier two influencers would also be like skit makers, um, the top skit makers with a lot of followers, obviously. Um, some some artists, some actors as well, not just as big, right? I'm not going to give an example. I don't think that trouble. Then you have tier three. Um, tier three is in, is in the high thousands, right? Followers that have maybe more than half a million. Let me use that number. Followers that you see that have more than half a million. They are also skit makers, actors, actresses, those guys, right? Those are tier three. Then you have tier four. Tier four is the up and coming. They are between 100K to 350K, right? These guys, they have promise. They are definitely going to get to the promised land at some point. But right now, their following is between 100K to 350K, right? Um, so those are tier four influencers. Most of them are lifestyle influencers. Let me use that word. They are lifestyle influencers, fashion influencers, food influencers. You will find these people, they are more niche based influencers as opposed to being big celebrities. They are, they are always tier three, tier four. Some of them are in tier three. Like, there's one that I really like. Beautiful lady. Very, very beautiful. I'm not going to mention her name because she probably doesn't know I exist. So there's no point in me giving her clout. Yeah, so those are tier three and tier four influencers. Um, and then you know, you have tier five, tier five are those up and coming 5k, 10k followers. Um, those are the ones that are the, they are the proudest of all of them, they think they've arrived. But I'm not, if again, if you're a tier five influencer, no vex, God will draw for you, you will blow. Um, but yeah, um, so those are tier five influencers, those ones are. Up and coming, they they are doing everything. They are doing comedy. They are doing lifestyle influencing. They are doing I say lifestyle influencing. That makes sense. They are doing so many things at the same time, and they are trying to find what works. When they find what works, they're going to now capitalize on that, right? So those are tier five influencers. Um, so I've explained from tier one to tier five based on relevance. Um, I touched about industry. I thought I touched industry rather a bit, and then um, the last one was what numbers number of following, things like that. Um, another thing you need to notice, your family and friends are influencers, right? Um, what does that mean? So, every friend you know has seven connections. Is That's minimum average. Everybody you know has seven connections. Um, except they are like super, super introverted, which again, it's hard to find. But yeah, everybody you know has seven um, connections. So, your mom, your dad, your siblings, your friends, they all have seven connections. So they in their own right are also, they in their own right are also influencers, right? So let's call them tier six. Those are the tier six influencers, family and friends, right? Colleagues, yeah, I didn't mention that. Office colleagues as well. Um, your gym buddies, people that you meet at the gym, people that you go to church, uh, religious institutions um, with, those guys can also be influencers for you if you ask them nicely, right? Um, so the first one here, the fourth question here is, does influencer marketing work? And I think the best way for me to answer that is to give my own personal experience, right? So I'm going to give you three stories. Story number one, um, I'm a huge Whiskey fan. I love Whiskey. Uh, I love, love Whiskey. I like literally from, I love my baby to fever to, you know, all these jams now, Mighty Wine. Yeah, Whiskey is my boy. And you know, there's a time that he had this ambassador deal or ambassador unveil, right? Because I'm not sure if they're still doing that or not, with Techno. They unveiled Whiskey as a Techno ambassador, let's say, we're well, in November now. They unveiled him in October. By November, I bought a Techno phone. And I cannot tell you why I bought a Techno phone, except Whiskey was an ambassador. And that Techno phone cost me like 
125k. Money I could have used for other things. But again, it's for whiskey, so star boy for life, man. Everywhere world, everywhere city. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was my own personal experience. Um, so the influencer marketing worked for techno in that point. I was the consumer, I was the customer. I was the one that saw whiskey, I went to go and buy the phone. A lot of other people saw whiskey and also bought the phone, right? Um, again, these phone guys do it a lot. You have Infinix thing with the video. You have um, Itel. Is it Itel? The one that does with Olamide, Media, I think it's Itel, right? So you do it a lot. So that's personal experience. Um, professional experience, I can't mention the brand or the company, but again, it was a financial institution. Uh, one of these old senior men in the business that, you know, um, they used to call them, I can't even mention that part. It was, it was a bank for older people. Let me use that. I think that's a safe space to play. It was a bank for older people and they wanted to, you know, become youthful and funky and younger Gen Z type. Well, yeah, Gen Z millennial type, right? Um, so they worked with a big boy. They worked with a very big um, um, early celebrity. Um, uh, took him across, took, took him around. We took him around Nigeria. At that time, I was working for the agency that took him around Nigeria. And you know, a lot of people, a lot of young people decided to open accounts with this financial institution, right? And you know, that was ridiculous because before that, mm -mm, it was a, again, like I told you, it was a senior, senior man's bank, older people. So yeah, um, that's professional experience when, when I saw influencer marketing work. And even for my own businesses, I have a particular business that is in the cloth, clothing retail space. And I worked with an influencer friend of mine. And I was asking him for a video, funny enough, that he should just, you know, take a video of the, um, the item we gave him. Just take a video uh, talking about it. Thank you so much. Things like that. And he, took, he actually worked out the next day to, to the beach. And he took pictures and it was banging. And, you know... He sent me those pictures, I posted them online, and people actually came to our WhatsApp to request for it. And they were like, oh, the reason why they haven't come in here was because they saw it on that influencer on my page. They didn't see it on his own page, though. they just saw him wearing it on my page and they came through, right? So yeah, influencer marketing works, guys. Um, tested and trusted, okay? Um, number five, how do you use influencers in your business? Um, that's a very interesting question. Somebody asked this question, and I'm, I'm wondering why they asked it. But yeah, um, you always want to use them to talk about your product or service, basically, right? Influencers are very good for testimonials and things like that, okay? So that's how you use them for your business. You use them to create awareness, to create awareness, create some level of clout for your business, add some level of, would I say, um, security or confidence or belief or trust in your business um so number six how much do you pay influencers um there's no fixed rate i don't feel there's a fixed rate most of the time you hear questions like it depends on the brand a lot of influencers say that make that statement and it pisses me off oh it depends on the brand you know it makes no sense um uh, if you're working with the top boys like the tier one, tier two, even tier three influencers, they most likely have a management and the management has a rate card. So brand or no brand, Omar Son will, will pay money. So it depends, it depends on the um, what's it called? It depends on the management team, um, depends on their rate card. But for tier four, tier five, obviously your family, um, there's no fixed price. I feel like you can you can negotiate, right? Um and you want to always leverage relationships, guys. You always want to leverage. You always want to leverage relationships. Um, one of the things that I believe in and I've seen in work is you have five to seven connections to everybody in the world. If you want to meet Obama, if you want to meet Barack Obama today, you have literally seven connections to Barack Obama. You just need to know who your first connection is that can lead you to your next connection. Before you know it, you're having coffee with Barack Obama, right? So leverage relationships. Whoever it is you want to use for your business, right? And you know you can afford the person. Again, if you can't afford the person, don't dream that far. Or rather, dream, but dream realistic dreams. Dream, dream dreams that are real, not the wishful thinking dreams, right? So yeah, um, leverage relationships in the sense that 
uh, if you want to work with, let's say this particular tier three influencer, right? And you have, let's say their normal race card is 200K and you have 120, 150K. Go and look for a friend of a friend or even a friend of yours that knows them. And you know, let that person do your talking for you. So far money is changing hands and there's friendship. There's, you know, there'll be some mutual agreements. Something can be worked on, okay? So that's what I'll say, leverage relationships um and as it's as a growing business right i don't like to use the term small business as a growing business um work what you have to get what you want right um let me use myself for example now most of the brands that we work with we always find we always find someone that is related to the owner of the business to create um you know our influencer marketing related videos right um mother I think yeah, we use the mother ones, but that one she actually would say that this is my mother. So we use mother most of the time. We use friends. We um, sometimes we can want organize like a focus group, just get them somewhere, test the product, get their feedback. The feedback that works for what we're trying to advertise, we use that things like that, right? So that's how much I can't give you. I can't. So how much? The question is how much do you pay influencers? I can't give an exact price. I can't give an exact price. Like I said, it's the big boys have, what's it called now? They have a race card. The younger, the, I say younger, the tier, tier three, tier four, tier five, tier six people, something can be arranged. Another thing for colleagues, family, friends, things like that, you might want to give them products. Even, even in fact, tier five, tier six, you might want to give them products alongside thank you for coming or thank you so much for doing this right it doesn't necessarily have to be cash it could be oh let me pay for your internet bundle for this month it could be um can i get you a voucher at um shop right or something right you need to be be thoughtful about it right and let it be something that is useful to them the reason why we use i've used vouchers before for our business and the reason why is everybody gets chop right no matter no matter what it is, there is definitely food in ShopRite. If you don't want food, there are drinks. If you don't want drinks, there are what? Well, there are, there's so many. There are so many options that you can use a ShopRite voucher for, right? So I always get ShopRite vouchers and give them products. I, we always that's what we always do. So yeah. Um, the next question here is why haven't you used some level of influencer marketing in your business, right? Uh, obviously, that's for you to answer, not me. Because I've used it a lot and I will continue to use it. And one of the reasons why influencer marketing is so important is because you can create what you call a UGC video, user generated content video, right? And this is fantastic for when you are running your online advertising. So if you're doing Facebook ads, if you're doing Snapchat ads, if you're doing Instagram ads, so people like to separate it, if you're doing Instagram ads, um, you know, all those things, this user generated content that comes from influencer marketing is a fantastic very 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 fantastic way to you know get your business out there and get people talking about it right um and again some people say content never gets old but that's a lie content gets old so you can't just shoot one and then use it forever you always have to shoot i, would, I always suggest that you want to shoot again depending on your budget you want to shoot at least one video a month just to you know stay top of mind stay relevant refresh you know let your current customers and potential customers know that yes this person is working they are building a business they are growing their business things like that right um so yeah that's the seven questions um sorry i have to, I have to read this again for you guys it's, it's a bit long <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video do you have any questions you'd like for me to answer yes please and please ask your questions um one thing that i really like questions for is it lets me know what kind of videos to make for you guys right what what video is relevant to you what video would help your business what video would actually add value to your business right um the reason why we're talking about influencer marketing in this particular video is because a lot of people don't know what to post and what to run ads on that's, that's one of the very, very common questions I get. What can I run ads on? I have a graphic design. Graphic designs are good, don't get me wrong, but most people don't read. 
hey, it's the truth. Most people don't read. So yeah, that's it. Um, so yeah, please, please, please ask your questions um, so that I can know what videos to make that be relevant and useful to you, my YouTube family. Yes, we are family. Um, yeah, don't forget to like this video as well if you found it useful. If you found it useful in any way, please, please, please like the video. Um, it helps the YouTube algorithm to push me into the famous circles. And maybe one day I can be as famous as the Paul brothers. Who knows? Who knows? And then I will shoot more videos and then you get to see my face more often. And then maybe I cannot get accustomed to saying these things without reading it out. Um, so yeah, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Please, please, please. Um, and yeah, don't forget to like this video. I think I already said that. Um, so yeah, see you in the next video. Stay learning, stay winning. God bless.